<clears throat> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show. I'm here to talk about some of my first half of the MLB most disappointing uh, players so far the 2023 season. Doesn't mean this doesn't mean they couldn't heat up in the second half of the season, but this is my first half list of the most uh, disappointing uh, players as of now this season. So my first player here. Uh, on this list, Max Scherzer is my first most disappointing player. Yeah, Max Scherzer, for what he's getting paid over $40 million a, a year, it just ain't cutting it with how he's played so far this year. A uh, $40 million contract, 8-3, um, yes, he's 8-3, but a 4.31 ERA. I mean, sure, he strikes a lot of people out, it's just he's, his last few starts. You look, six hits, five earned runs against the Padres. He gave up two homers. Against the uh, Arizona, he won't got the win, but he five hits, four earned runs. Yes, he's getting all these strikeouts. Eight strikeouts, eight strikeouts, nine strikeouts, nine strikeouts, seven strikeouts his last few games. But one, two, three, six, eight home runs given up as well. On um, nine, 11, 13, 14 earned runs. He's just giving up the long ball way too much. So for him, for what he's getting paid, is definitely disappointing with a 4.31 ER, a 3.4.31 ERA, even though he's eight and three. He's just giving way too many homers. He's always been a big strikeout guy. The strikeouts are always going to come, but just with the, so he's just giving up way too many, the long ball way too much, and he's walking too many batters as well. He's been, he's just been walking too many batters as well as this this season. So. My, Max Scherzer is my first disappointing uh, player. My second most disappointing player is Carlos Correa. Um, the Mets and the Giants definitely uh, have luckily avoided signing Carlos Correa to a big contract. So he's getting paid like $33 million a year. Remember he signed that big contract to stay with Minnesota after the ones when the Mets and Giants failed. This year, ooh, not good. Not good for Mr. Correa. 11 home runs. Um, only a 225 batting average for a uh, Correa. I'm probably on my computer uh, so I can get the stats uh, better. Yeah, Carlos Correa has not been good. He, he has a 225 batting average. Huh. If we're speaking now, these teams that avoid avoid Carlos Correa, luckily on that big contract they're going to pay him, luckily. For them, they, he failed those physicals, and uh, Met, the Twins are kind of looking like dumbasses right now. Uh, only 11 homers, 11 homers, 30, 38 RBIs, but a 225 batting average, only a 299 on base, which is bad for Correa standards. A, a 401 slugging, only a 700 OPS with a 92 OPS plus. He needs to get it going in the second half. If the Twins uh, want to have a chance uh, going forward. He, you paid him all this money. He, he can't have a season like this. Uh, continue it in the second half. Just hitting like mid two twenties with only uh, with under hundred OPS plus and not getting on base. My third disappointing player. It's gonna be Trey Turner. Um, you know his defense is the best, so you gotta hope for his offense to be there. And, it just hasn't been there this season for the Philadelphia Phillies. Um, 10 homers, 51 RBIs. Or only 10, 10, 10 homers, only 32 RBIs. With a 299 on base, a 389 slugging. Only a 687 OPS and an 88 OPS plus. And it's just these shortstops that just haven't been good this season. Correa's been not good. Trey Turner, he's had some moments, but he overall hasn't been good. Only with an 88 OPS plus. And that was the Phillies' big addition in free agency, so... Well, could he get it back down in the second half? Yes, but... Just pretty disappointing first half for uh, for him. Next player, Tim, An Tim Anderson. Tim Anderson. He's probably going to be, be the, one of the worst players this season, man. One of the worst players in the league uh, this season. Yes, you hear this right. Almost a negative 2 war. A negative 1.7 war. No home runs. No home runs for Tim Anderson right now This in this season. That is just pathetic. 
for Mr. Tim Anderson. No homers, only 13 runs batted in, 259 on base, 263 slugging, a 521 OPS, and a 46 OPS plus. Just not good this season for Tim Anderson when he also got a negative two more and no homers. This guy used to hit a lot of homers. Like, what has happened to Tim Anderson? I mean, people will probably say, oh, if you play in a different uniform, maybe he'll play better, but you got to play better to get good value. If you trade, ten, who's going to trade for a guy with no homers with only 13 RBIs and a 46 OPS plus with a 521 OPS and 259 base? Almost a negative two war. Like, who would want to trade for that? Uh, next player, Alec Manoa. Alec Manoa. Yeah, besides his start against the Tigers when he come back and threw uh, six, seven uh, innings with eight strikeouts, yeah, he's been really disappointing. I uh, expect a lot better from Alec Manoa this season. Besides that start against the Tigers, he's been really bad this year. Uh, he was, right now he's 2-7, and seven, record with a 5.91 ERA, uh, 64 innings, 1.797 whip, a negative 0.9 war. All the stats are down across the category. Uh, every stash is down. Every statistical category. Maybe he'll um, do better now. That he's getting back into the swing of things now. Back in the back in the MLB, but he's been really disappointing. Maybe he hasn't adjust, adjusted that pitch clock. I don't know. My next player was it was your uh, twenty twenty two Cy Young winner, Sandy Alcantara. Definitely one of the most disappointing players uh, this season. 3-7 and seven with a 4.72 ERA, 114.1 um, innings pitch, 94 strikeouts, 1.2 whip. He was so much better last year. Is this something to do with the pitch clock? <coughs> Maybe. But he's been, his strikeouts are down. The walks are up. He's, the ball's getting hit harder off uh, Sandy. Was it due to, is his arm still maybe tired from throwing all those innings last year? Who knows? But it, the ball's going to hit harder. He's uh, walking more batters. He's not getting the strikeouts like he used to. So, maybe Sandy can turn around the second half. Next, Luis Severino. Luis uh, Severino. Ever since, since he's come back, um, oh boy. Luis Severino has been really, really disappointing. Now he currently this season has a 7.38 ERA, a negative 1.1 WAR, 1 and 4 record, a 1.8 WHIP. Which, if, if you're with 1.8, you're having a very disappointing season as a pitcher. And he's been really good in the past. Uh, it's just since he come back th this year, he's been so bad. Like a 1.8 WHIP and a 7.38 ERA. I shall see how he can continue to start Luis Severino at this point. This might be his last season new, as a New York Yankee. Um, yeah. Next uh, player also. From the New York Yankees, uh, DJ uh, LeMahieu. DJ LeMahieu. And you remember when this guy used to, uh, was a was fighting for that batting champion? Was hitting like over 300. Yeah, I think Father Time's catching up though. Um, seven homers, 20, 27 RBIs, uh, 285 on base, 357 slugging, uh, 643 OPS with a 79 OPS plus. This guy used to be fighting for Baden champions now. I think he's just kind of washed now. I think he's not as good as he used to be. And a negative 0.1 war. Yeah, I think it might be just time for Matthew Shear to hang it up. My next player, um, Jose Abreu. He used, to, he used to be like a 30 30 guy, 30 home runs, 30 doubles for the White Sox. This year for the Astros, he's just not getting on base as much as he would. Only 75 OPS plus, a 630 OPS. You usually give them an 800, near 900 OPS for the White Sox this year. Just not the case. A negative, almost one more. Seven homers, 45 RBIs with only 237 batting average with 286 on base. And a 75 OPS plus. Throughout his career, he, he would always get on base. It's just here for the Astros. It's, it's just not not clicking. Uh, Giancarlo Stanton. Giancarlo Yeah, Stanton, when he's cold at the plate, he is very cold at the plate. Uh, nine homers, 23 RBIs, um, 276 on base, which is very bad. 426 slugging, a 702 OPS, 92 OPS plus. It's just when he isn't hitting homers, he strikes out a lot. It's just he's striking out way too much. He's just 
when he's not getting homers, it's just it feels like he's not getting on base. Uh, Josh Donaldson. Oh my lord, this guy's terrible. He needs to retire at this point. Uh, 10 homers, 15 RBIs, uh, 152 batting average, 232 on base, 465 slugging, 697 OPS, and 88 OPS plus. This dude's either home run or bust. 15 of his hits, or yeah, 15 of his hits, 10 of them have been homers. It's either home run or bust. It's either homer or don't get on base. So yeah, this dude needs, just needs to retire. I didn't think I'd ever make an uh, MLB most disappointing player first half with Jeff McNeil, but yeah, Jeff McNeil's been pretty disappointing coming off of a 320 batting average last year, I think. He has three homers, 26 RBIs, 253 batting average, 331 on base, um, 328 slugging, 659 OPS with only an 84 OPS plus. I know it's going to be hard to have a repeat of last year, but yeah, he's been really disappointing, really, really disappointing. In my opinion. Yeah, it's really all to say though for this video for most disappointing players. So, um, until next time, I have a lot. Peace.